Hello, everybody. It's Rhino here. I just wanted to uh, say, hey, it has been way, way, way too long, as the Counting Crows would say, uh, since I have uh, uploaded a video on this channel. Actually, I don't even know. I must have done one in 2021. I'd have to, I'd have to double check. I know I did a couple of those like drink videos and stuff like that, but uh, which I will get back to. Um, but I just wanted to give everyone like an update on me and this channel and everything. Well, this channel is really just my personal channel. I consider this channel to be like a, a lifestyle diary sort of a thing. Um, so it's just kind of like what I'm up to. I don't. I know the whole thing right now is that YouTube channels are supposed to be like very precise about what they're doing. Like it's supposed to be super, like when you have an idea that's broad, you're supposed to like take two more steps to make it. When you think it's too niche, that's when you're in the right spot or you have to take like one more step. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. It puts people in too much of a box. You know what I mean? But um, so I just use it because sometimes there are so many thoughts in my head. They're just spilling out and uh, I'm just going to utter them out into the universe. And hopefully some like minded folks out there will find it or, um, you know, listen to it or whatever. Or just hear me ramble. So thank you for all those people that are out there watching right now. I appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Um, no, um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, 2021, what a year. It has been a year. And it is like Halloween is on the horizon in like a week and a half and less than a week and a half. It's like a week and two days. And uh, as of the recording of this and then um, I can't I I can't even fathom. Then it's November, December, and then we're in 2022 and uh, life is just uh, life is just gone in an instant, isn't it? Um, no, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. Um you know, as you can see, I have a new little bit of a setup here. Um, if you watch the work videos that I do, uh, you probably have already seen it. But I got a teeny tiny desk from Ikea because I was tired of taking out my card table. Although I did like doing like the head on uh, shots. It just I don't have the space for that. So I took one of these like cube displays I had. I tilted it up. So now it goes up and down instead of side to side. Uh, so essentially I blocked out the one window I had up here, um, which is fine. It's fine. This is a TV room. It's like a cave. Um so, uh, and I have this tiny desk and this is, this is actually my personal like microphone that it uses my personal like H4N. Like that was actually a college, uh, graduation gift in 2014 when I graduated from UCF. And then like, this is the stuff I record the Power Rangers podcast with basically, but man, am I happy I had this when everything kind of closed down and went crazy. So I had, I, I call it the duct tape production, um, because essentially I just am, it's like all the pieces of everything from over the years assembled to make some sort of functioning something rather. It's working right now. It's working well, good enough is what we'll say. Good enough, right? So, um, no, but I, you know, I haven't uploaded a lot of videos on here, but I did want to give like, oh, I realized I should have done this like way back when, but, um, you know, I've done some stuff. I have, I've had, I've been struggling with some like personal issues throughout this year, um, you know, it, it has been, it's, it's hard because, you know, it is a rough time for a lot of people. And there are a lot of people out there who have, a, who have it a lot worse than I do. But I, the neighborhood I live in has really just taken a really bad dive. It's been, it's been on a progressive, like downward slide for a long time. And it just exponentially, um, has kind of gotten a little out of control. Uh, so it's, it's, it's been very difficult because, you know, I have my two little babies, my two Rock and Nardi, and I love them so much. And it just feels like the world is kind of closing in on us here because it's uh, Rocket is a rescue um, dog and um, who I love dearly. But, uh, you know, he's got some like food aggression and like every day there's like food outside. It's like literally like steak bones. I'm not even, I kid you not. It's like bones is big. If Rocket gets something in his mouth, there is no, you can't get it out. You can't get your hand near him because he'll attack you. Um, so, you know, you have to, I have to be very wary of that and be careful when I walk him, but I can't see some of the stuff that's in the grass sometimes. So there's, you know, things like that. People kind of just throw their trash out. You know, it was like, the other day it was like just a tire out there. It's like, it, there's like broken glass every day in the parking lot now, every day. Cause there's one, these people that moved in a few over down here who are like tailgating to like two in the morning all the time and just blaring music outside, like bottle caps everywhere. It's just, it's like them. And then uh, an incident happened the other night where, uh, you know, Eli, somebody had parked in Eli's spot because there is a guy now who lives across from me that is running essentially like an illegal car rental service. I don't know if it's like just car rentals or he's selling them, but there's like 10 cars parked in this one parking, you know, in the one 
circle I live in. And um, because it's like it's all condos and it's they're different like circles as you go through. And so in this one circle and he basically takes up all the spots so that like people who live here don't even have somewhere to park. So people have been parking in each other's like parking spots now, even when they're reserved or whatever or something. So there's a thing the other night, Eli asked the guy to move and essentially the guy uh, went to like attack him like and called him some slurs. Uh, that I won't repeat here. And uh, so there's that, you know, there's this. So it's just, it sucks. It really does suck right now. And there is this like, I, you know, it's, it's hard not to get overwhelmed by all this stuff because it's just been like inflation is at like, is, is like increasing in, in like insanely, insanely right now. Like the cost of everything has gone up so drastically, but I feel like, um, you know, people, the lower class people like aren't aren't getting that that you know, it, it's just this like great canyon that is dividing and it's like so it's insane to me that I can pay a sixteen hundred dollar rent a month on time for like ten years every day but a bank will say that I don't make enough money to pay a thousand dollar mortgage on a house so I don't know also the housing thing like I was trying to get how uh make bids on houses and stuff like that and like that's out of the reach now because it was already like a, not a, you know, according to the bank again, it's like a stretch, but like houses that like sold for like two two eighty in this one neighborhood, this exact house that I looked at is now selling for like four hundred thousand dollars. It's insane. So like houses in bad areas, like houses that need a lot of work now, are going for like insane amounts of money, which. Which is great for people, you know, if you're in the selling business and you got somewhere to go for a little bit, that's great. But I feel like we're about to hit like a supply shortage or something like that. But I don't know. I don't know real estate that well. You know, that's not that's not for me. I just I would love to um, get out of this place because there's just constant activity that is stressing the dog out, stressing me out. I have no space. I have nowhere to run. I have nowhere to go. So just losing my mind a little bit. And I didn't mean to go on this like this tirade of of that that stuff for a while because again I have somewhere to live right now you know granted I don't feel comfortable here anymore but you know I'm I'm doing every day I look I am looking for somewhere to go somewhere to go I would love a house you know for the for the dogs to have a little bit of a uh, peace and quiet I bring them to my friend uh Jill's house um sometimes because that they, neither of them are ever home really during the day and they said I could come over with them so they're so calm when they're over there they just it's just peace and quiet um so um but anyway what have I been up to this year so that's been that has been very challenging for me um you know, I'm I'm feeling I I want to do some like creative stuff, and again, I'm feeling very restricted. I, I feel like space is a big thing for me because I just, I come from an area of Massachusetts, a smaller town, and it's just one of those things where I feel like I've always had somewhere to like step outside and clear my head. And right now, I feel like my head is filled with um, spaghettios or or alphabet soup, and I just cannot get a clear picture of what any of the words are. So it just feels like there's all these things jumbling around in there that I just can't place. And so it's that that that's been difficult. Um, you know, my anxiety is just all over the place lately. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, you know, I I am uh I'm trying to make the most of everything, have have fun with what I do, you know. So this like Halloween season, Halloween Horror Nights was back, so I go as much as I can to that, knowing that you know who knows something could happen. We might not have it next year, you know. I I mean uh, they will, but you know it's just one of those. Uh, I'm trying to trying to do that thing where not take anything for granted and live a lot more in the moment than constantly being like, well, what about this? What about that? So yeah. Um, uh, so this year I should have made it set on this channel, but, um, I, I did start, um, a website, uh, with a friend of mine, RJ and, uh, of RJ's food rocks. And we started a site that was really aimed at, um, I feel like a lot of fandoms lately have gotten very toxic. I mean, I'm sure everybody can find it, kind of feel this happening in different areas of life, but it feels like after everything over the last couple of years that a lot of really nasty people who have bad ideologies about thing thinks that they're validated again. So we are having this like hard push and pull of like 
crazy town, you know, I mean, everyone's crazy, right? We're all crazy. But um, so anyway, it, it kind of all started around the idea of like Kelly Marie Tran story about how like how horrible people were to her um, because of The Last Jedi. And I'm like, well, she has nothing to do with the quality of the movie or anything like that. So like pinning it all on this girl is awful. And I just was thinking like, I hate this like. I hate gatekeepers in fandoms because I love Power Rangers. You know I love Power Rangers. I've got the tattoo. You, this whole wall over here that you can't see right now, that's all Power Rangers, like floor-to-ceiling stuff. I love it, but it's so crazy to me because there are a lot of people that uh, it seems like they don't want you in the fandom, and that's why I started my Power Rangers podcast, the Podcast Rangers of Power Rangers podcast, you know, aptly titled. And um, it was because I wanted it to feel like you, whether you've seen one episode, every episode, or one episode a hundred times or whatever, I wanted it to be stuff that was like, everybody's welcome. If you're just about to watch it for the first time ever or for the first time in 25 years, please watch it and then let's talk about it. Let's have fun chatting about it. I love it. I love what it stands for. The show stands for like inclusivity. And re- and this season, by the way, this season, Power Rangers Dino Fury, it's all on Netflix right now. Watch it. It is probably one of the best, like in terms of like having this thread of a story that's carrying through all these episodes and then talk about like representation. And uh, we finally got like an LGBTQ representation in there. Like I, I am all, ab- this is the, Honestly, this is the best season in 10 years, and um, beyond that, I would put it top tier. Top tier of all the series. Um, I don't, it's not, you know, season one is done, but um, the story isn't done yet, so I don't want to, I don't want to, like, jump that gun on that, you know, but uh, so far, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal work. Um, I love, I've loved every minute of it, Um, and that hasn't happened in a long time, and it really has me that, like, excited Power Ranger feeling again that I love, but I can't imagine what some of the stories and the, that representation means for, um, you know, some of the younger people that are are watching it, so, uh, you know, I just... I, I started this, so I was talking to RJ where I was like, I really wish we had something where we talked about representation more and we, we knew, you know, that was a, a subject without people just screaming, you know, that something has to be this way or that way or whatever. And it's like, so I was like, I just wish we, we had our own little space that we could do that in. And so he and I, we created, uh, it's called The Ampliverse. There is a YouTube channel, um, youtube.com slash The Ampliverse that you can check out. And um, there is a website, theampliverse.com. And of course, course there's also a ton of podcasts that get produced through that so it's um it's got written material on the website it's got um podcasts that are produced and then we have um youtube videos so we have like different shows that come and go um you know uh i do one specifically uh, the puppets you know the adventures of Artie and rocket that it can be found over on the ampliverse youtube channel there are three episodes of that now i know i have the first episode on here but i did two more episodes and they're they're on that other channel um and there is a fourth episode written that will hopefully be coming someday soon again i'm just uh my creative my creative juices i, I just feel like i'm short circuiting sometimes so i uh you know i i I just need like clarity and Zen and, uh, and meditation or something like that. But, um, no, you really, please check them out. I I'm, I loved every second of doing the two of them. I think they came out really good. Um, and then also I do a series, um, on bourbon with my friend Jill because she and her husband were really into bourbon. And I was thinking about how, when I think of bourbon, I think of like a handlebar mustache or like a, a, an older man, like a man's drink. And I was like, you know, it's not really fair. It's not really fair for that. Like, I hate that. Like, in, in the history of beer, it was women that perfected beer. And then men co-opted that. And I was like, and here we are with bourbon. And I was like, this should be, this is this is America's drink. It is the official liquor of America. I believe that's true. Um, And that's why we created the bourbon, like, standards. That's why all whiskey, all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. So there are specific rules that make it bourbon. And no, it does not have to be made in Kentucky. It does have to be made in Kentucky to be Kentucky straight bourbon, but it does not have to be made in Kentucky to be bourbon either. So that is not one of the rules. And that is a, that is a misdemeanor. And, um, a lot of straight men like to tell me otherwise, but I, that, that is what I've come to learn. So, um, so it's like me and Jill, you know, a gay and a lady trying to do our thing and, you know, break it down and have a little bit of fun with it while also like making classic drinks and kind of learning, just learning along the way. So uh, every week, uh, every uh, Tuesday we do, we taste a bourbon and then on the Friday we make a drink with it. So it's, um, you know, just, just uh, 
trying to help people. If anybody ever has any questions over there, please check that out. That's the Bourbon Study. That's what that's called. So we call it the Bourbon Study Tasting Room, and then we call it the Bourbon Study. And um, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun to do that. It's been rewarding. It's been you know, um, I mean, it's I don't want to be like. It's nothing groundbreakingly creative or anything like that, but we've had some really good drinks. And it doesn't matter whether you say you like bourbon or not. There are some drinks in there that you will like. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I used to never drink whiskey or bourbon or any of that stuff. And there are some amazing ones, too. And so, um, yeah, so I have a, I have a lot of fun doing that. Um, the Podcast Rangers, uh, a Power Rangers podcast, that's a little bit on hiatus right now because, again, I'm having a little bit of – we had a little bit of a drought. I had a um, – uh, I had some things going on that I basically, I just, I was starting to feel like I couldn't, I didn't know what to say I was doing or where I was doing it or whatever I was doing. So I've just got into a place where I was like, no, I'm, I shut down essentially where I was just like, I wasn't really posting a lot on social media. I wasn't doing any of this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let anybody take that joy from me. I am going to be me and I'm going to be the best version of me. And nobody and nobody, nobody's going, nobody can stop me now. I feel like I was singing like five songs at once, but in a musical, that's where I would, I would start. So I am just going to live my life the best and most honest and truest way I can. Uh, and so um, I'm hoping to get back in the habits of the things that I really do enjoy doing. And honestly, just like having this weird chat right now with nobody but this camera and my computer is kind of cathartic so if anybody has even made it this far into the video i know it's like 17 minutes into it but thank you thank you for watching this um yeah so uh again that was that i did finally get to travel um i i am a i am fully vaccinated and i followed all the rules and everything i went to see my best friend kim in milwaukee that was a lot of fun um i went to go see my family finally in july that was amazing um I, first time i've been there that it wasn't christmas um it was the fourth of july and we got to see the parade in bristol which was awesome uh i haven't seen that in like I don't even know. I don't think I've seen that in like 15 years. And so it did make me really homesick. I think I would really like living in Rhode Island, to be honest with you. I know everyone's like, the winter and the snow. Guys guys and gals and everybody in between, I hate the heat. I it My body, the older I'm getting, the more and more I hate it. I hate being soaking wet from sweating. I just, I am not a fan. I would rather be freezing and put on a million layers than be than be it's the exact same sensation to me being ice cold and and roasting in the sun it's two different things at least in the ice cold like yeah i guess i guess my chin gets uh, like cracked and dry or whatever but i'm just tired of being sunburned all the time like i just uh it ages you it ages you but i was not meant to thrive in humidity i think that's really what it is it's it's like the humidity number 1 i can't stand but i just need i i just want to wear a sweatshirt. I want to wear layers. <sighs> but um, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and so um, I'm trying to think. Uh, what else have I? What else have I been up to? Just trying to live my my hol my best Halloween life right now. I don't know what is everybody going for as Halloween. Please let me know in the comments. I think I'm going to be a Ghostbuster because uh, Ghostbusters was like my Power Rangers before Power Rangers, and like I don't, I don't. I've never actually been a Ghostbuster. So I was thinking about putting together like a costume, but I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not a hundred percent. If it doesn't come together good enough, I don't want to do it. Cause I'm very serious about Halloween and Halloween costumes. So I, I'm not sure I will hopefully be able to keep you updated. You can follow that. That journey will probably end up on like Instagram. I'm Instagram and Twitter. I don't use Facebook. Um, I'm not good about putting pictures on Twitter. I really am going to start being better about that. Um, and uh, But Instagram is usually like my pictures and, and stuff like that. I've been painting a lot. I did a lot of paintings. Um, I have a coffee site. It's ko-fi.com slash rhino, R-Y-N-O. Um, and I use that because here's the thing. If anybody out there is doing any like digital art or you're doing podcasts or um, – you, you, you know, or, or you are doing physical art like painting, anything that you would do on an Etsy site or anything that you uh, or if you're just, you know, somebody out there who provides digital content to the world or anything like that. Coffee is like a mashup of it's kind of like the interfaces like Facebook, but it's like Facebook meets 
Etsy and um, meets Patreon, but it feels a little more excessive and open than Patreon does, like because people can follow you and not support, but you can also make private content and you can do the tiers like you would on a Patreon site. Um, it's essentially like a digital tip jar is what I feel like it started as, but they added a shop option. And the thing is, so if I, if I like, let's say I sell some uh, painting for like 50 bucks, right? Um, I will get, if somebody pays me through PayPal or, um, like, uh, I think it, I can't remember what else it takes, um, in, in terms of non-credit card, but I will get that full price. I, there's no fees. The website takes zero fees out of it. Um, and uh, and then if somebody pays me with their credit card, there's like a minimal fee. So if it was like, if it's like sixty five dollars, I get like sixty two, like twenty five or something like that. Um, whereas like on Etsy, if it was selling for like uh, sixty five dollars, I wouldn't. I'd get like forty five dollars and then still have to pay for the shipping. So it's insane. eBay and Etsy are gouging people on money, and that is just another problem I have because I feel like in this last couple of years, so many of these um, big companies, uh, these uh, these internet companies, saw how much money like the average low income person was starting to make through through the internet and was like no you poor people aren't allowed to make more money we are rich millionaire billionaire board of trustees they need more money so we're going to take more like i i sold some something on uh ebay and i i thought it was a mistake i thought the direct deposit was like a mistake like i there was some error in the listing because they took out like 20 percent. it was something insane uh, and I was like, great. I would have, I would have definitely put it up for more than that, but it's, it's crazy. It's the second people know that look, they squeeze people, they squeeze people, they squeeze people. So that's why I try to like, when I do decide to sell paintings, which I don't always do, sometimes it's just, it's just, it's just uh, an exercise for me. So I'm not, so I'm doing something else. When I sell, I try to sell everything for like a reasonable, a reasonable price. Like I know that people want to own art. I think owning physical art as opposed to like a digital print is important to a lot of people too. Like me, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with digital prints. I wish I knew how to, some of this art, I wish I could turn into um, digital prints because I know people want to pay like 20 bucks or something like that, you know, for it. And I would love to do that or just sell a print and then like autograph the print or something like that. Um, but I just, I don't know how to do that. I don't have that skill. Um, and I'm not good with Photoshop or anything like that to be able to do that. Um, cause there's like a power line one that I, that was like the first painting I ever did. And it's like Max in his power line outfit and it says stand out. And I know people really like that one, but it's just too much time. It's too time consuming for me to really keep doing that one. Also it kind of takes the fun out of it. So I don't like to make too many versions of the same painting. But um, I'd love to be able to like offer that one up as like a digital print or something like that. But so if anyone has any tips that knows, I'd, I'd love to hear it, you know, because, um, again, I try to make everything affordable because I, you know, art, you should be paying a lot of money for the art, honestly, because it's one, it's the person's talent Two, it is it is the time put into it. I think a lot of people look at it and they don't think it takes as much time as it does or it does. But it's it's also the type of art like I like to make is like the stuff you want to look at and you go, ah, it just makes you it puts a little smile and makes a little warm thing. So I like to just do like cartoony, like essentially portraits of people's like favorite animated characters. Um, and that's why I want to make it accessible. I'm not trying to gouge anybody. I'm not trying to overpay it. You know, I, I have trouble valuing my own work. So um, so I do the best I can to like keep it, you know honest and true to what it is you know and make like that little bit of money essentially i make the little bit of money from the painting which then goes into me buying more supplies so i'm not really i'm not really making a lot of money from doing it but it's giving me something to do and i do get some really awesome messages from some of the people who have bought stuff which i think is really really cool um and really really it i just i love knowing i've done something where somebody it makes somebody else's day or life like just that little bit of better if it could make just one smile for somebody and make them feel a little more okay, then that is like, that is the feeling you cannot buy. That is something, you know, incredible. And, and, and so I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that in this silly, ridiculous way, even doing these like videos and stuff like that. So, um, I'm like an emotional sponge. So, you know, um, 
but yeah, I, I've been I've been rambling for a while, so I'm gonna go because I'm not done working. The I have a video exporting for work, so I've got to go take care of that um, and and finish that up. And yeah, so I hope everybody out there is doing well. I I'd love to like do a book club again. Uh, not do a book club. The book club is always gonna be open. I'd love to read a book again. I still haven't read that Star Wars book, and now there's like a second one out. Um, that was like Light of the Jedi or something like that. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully I can kind of get get back into that. We can do a little, a couple more of those. And um, we can talk about uh, shows that we've all been watching and things like that. I am, I promised Craig I would watch uh, The Haunting of Hill House. And I am on episode three of that. Yeah, I just see Rocket knows he's barking downstairs if you can hear him because it's a spooky show. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to get through all that. Very excited for some movies coming out. Um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Cannot wait. Um, so I, I hope to talk about some of those things. And yeah, check out the Ampliverse. Honestly, I should probably put that stuff on the Ampliverse um, and just keep this like kind of a lifestyle video. But I'm working on saving up for a for a personal camera. Um, so I've been doing, I've been doing pretty good. I, I basically, I want to use the camera for the bourbon study because the one I'm using right now is not, is fine, but like we could be doing, we could be doing a better one. So it's, it's going to be a new camera. And then after that, I think it's going to be a new, I want to get mics for there. Cause there are these like cool teeny tiny, like road mics that I've seen that are, that are interesting that I'm like, well, I feel like I should, as a production individual, I should probably own some of these. Right now, I'm using a Zoom H1, which is like a teeny tiny. I again, I I had one of these from like college, and so I'm using one of those, and I plug two lavalier mics into it. So, um, and it's it working. It works all right. I think I just the quality of the microphone I bought isn't great. Again, audio capturing is not my strong suit, but. Um, yeah, so uh, check out the Ampliverse. It's the YouTube channel. Uh, I'll put a I'll put a link to it in the description too. It's theampliverse.com, and that'll send out links to all different like podcasts that we produce. And um, there's some awesome articles on there, and um, it's like food recipes, um, different like YouTube, uh, different shows on the YouTube channel. There's a lot of the Bourbon Study on the YouTube channel, and honestly, that'll probably break off into its own YouTube channel eventually, but uh, feel free to uh, subscribe over there and you can stay up to date. Um, there's some there's some fun quality content that comes out over there. So uh, there's actually a book club over there, actually, the Ampliverse Book Club. So And and uh, they do a bo one book a month, I think. So um, you should check that out because RJ does that and he does a really good job at all that. He does a really good job at... It wouldn't be running without him. I essentially funded it and we... and and said this is a thing I want to do and then we worked together on the idea like it would be story by but then written by the two of us and like so it, it's like it's I always say like 50 50 but really he deserves uh way more of the credit than than I do but it, it is it is a site again designed to help um those without a voice get a voice or figure out how to use their voice uh, better. Just refine it a little bit. Um, and, you know, I so it's a, a diverse group of uh, folks over there. So check that out. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just hey, hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to check in. This went way longer than I thought. I thought it was going to be 10 minutes. And here we are 28 minutes later. So. so goodbye, everybody. Have a good weekend or whatever day of the week you're watching this. Have a good one of those.